everyone, I'm going to be making a video, uh, <coughs> or a series of videos, explaining every ideology on the political compass. So, well, I'm going to begin by after and left for my first video off Dorian right, off Dorian uh, liberal, libertarian, left, libertarian, right. So that's how the video order is going to go. So the first ideology I want to explain is National Bolshevism, or NASBA. So these are, this is the ideology that's generally far left. It can be, I use is civic nationalism. It doesn't use, like, racial nationalism as the memes depicted because it's generally has, doesn't believe that it, like, whites are superior as they believe in either each civilization across the world is unique and good in their own right. So, they're, yes, they're nationalistic, but no, they're not nationalistic in the sense that, that the uh, race theory. So, generally, Nazbos are kind of confined to a way. I'll explain. So, Basically, the National Bolshevik Party was, in Russia, larger Nazbos generally believed that just left-wing, anyone who opposes the Russian government. So, essentially, they've been marched with fascists, liberals, and, so and socialists, and many other groups, just so they could get a gain. So, now we understand what Nazbos are, and what do they do, and there's the different variants of Nazbos across the world. So, the first kind we're going to be talking about is alright national Bolshevism. This ideology has generally done, is, all, is from alright groups that claim to be having links with Nazbos. They're generally, they have the extern, the origins can be traced back to the extinct, Traditional Worker Party, by, led by former Raf, Matthew Hebich, having taken his position. In addition, that he got help from a pro, a, a propagandist, Eric Stryker. However, real name was Joseph G Jordan, the man. So, the man of all right. Beth him was a self-declared Marxist. So this kind, you can see how it can be confusing, because generally it interlaps a lot of kinds of ideologies. So the social interrelationism. So this is kind of internationalist, but also unlike other Nazbos, though it's pro-white. However, I do not consider this as a type of Nazbo as a this this is just all, all right and a Marxist-Leninist group. Claiming that they're f Nazbos when they're are because again the that original Nazbos nationalism wasn't contain wasn't really like or the modern day ones were really like based on race. So here's that. Um, also they had a youth organization. So yeah, with models helping them, George Lincoln, Rockwell, and Spen Ro and Ro Richard Spencer. And then, so, anyway, there was a white student union, anti-Christian stuff, called Zionist Sadik, and that, that is pretty much it for the first cut. Next is Benis and Geotot. So, he's basically you got a Russian person, he was on his uh, uh, name is Benes and Geo, he was openly Marxist Lenin, civic nationalist, Marxist Bolshevik, and that. Uh, and a uh, Marxist lens. So, um, and other types of Russian E. M. Lebedev. So, generally, I would, this is, I would first one I would actually consider a uh, Nazbo because it's not just claiming to gain popularity. So, generally, um, this one kind of is like, like, if, like, um, let me see, um, Basically, it's more like based on international, like we should like support Palestine over Israel. There's also support for Putin, like the other Nazbos, but that's not a defining philosophy of Nazbos, so that's what they generally do. Doesn't mean all Nazbos don't do, Pulse of Putin. And then also, they have been accused of promoting Ukraine Russian unrest and participating rebel military grades betraying Ukraine, which is basically weapon smuggling. Um, also, they've been being had some so also report by National Guard, they the National Guard report also reporting about how the National Guard of Ukraine in, has been responsible for torturing 
and many other types of abuse, human rights abuses. Um, also, this was about several. They fled to to Latvia, Tallinn after they were they were in Ukraine exiled. Essentially, they were to, he was taken to Finland. However, he was wanted in Finland for illegal participation in conflict, as Finland's Ukrainian racism was close, in which they were asked. And he asked Putin on it was for, for Putin due to him being pro Putin. However, he was demanded. He demanded that he be released, and Putin helped him in 2020. So the general consensus is more diplomatic. So like we should support the rebels in Donbass, and we should generally, we should generally also like we're we're also should generally be pro should support Palestine. Also, they're generally anti-American policy. So there's that, and they were trying to kill George. W. Bush when he visited Latvia in 2005. So there you go. But our next type is Bombacism. Bombacism was basically born in Florida, Italy in October 1924-1879 and his family was literally cultivating land in the, on the parish of Dor Nicolini. As he had a child, he moved from Normal Manate to first elementary school in a so essentially he was enrolled in 1895 to the seminary of Florida, but he had left due to health reasons. Continued studies in 1900. So generally, um, he was an elementary teacher, and actually, he, and he was in the same class as Benito Mussolini, which we know all was a fascist. So, um, he graduated and imposed the Socialist Party in Italy, which also Benito mostly used to be a part of. The club has began work to engage with a significant role in Villa Satania and the province of 1904 to 1905. Later, turned to Emilia, but Barcelona was married, he, he, I which he was married in San Facundia, uh, but who is a t also a teacher, and 1906, a family couple moved to Cardo Bosco, and uh, so for the Sofora, and in which they, Nicole Combosibaki, okay, I can't pronounce his name really well, Baki, Baki, had been also period of economic hardship before being signed substitute position at Villa Argin, but then at Cardo Bos Bosco di Soto. So in 1907, Nicola Bobo Baki was signed chair in Monterey uh, di Angola, and it was a town near the Pensinsa area. 1909, he abandoned China to devote himself from politics, and he generally was an active member of the trade union. And, I, and the newspaper opportunity, Agnia, with his family, still lives there. It's there. Wait, his family still? Oh, yeah, I guess the descendants can. Actually, yeah. So, in 1911, he just became a member of the Italian Socialist Party, which was operated between 1892, of course, postponed during Benito Mussolini's year, but again reopened in her after World War II and continued until 1934, where they merged into the Italian left center. I think that's what it's called, party of. And a member of the, and anyway, it was also a member of the General Confederation for Labor, or the CGDL. Okay. Okay. Where? Where is it? CGL. Well, May of the same year, Nicola Bambaki. Resigned from the Cezena, ready to retire from political activity, but in November returned to politics as the Secretary of Chamber of Labor in Mad of Madonna. On Madonna, during World War I, 1918, Madonna had his springboard becoming an undisputed leader of local socialism. He called it the Kaiser of Madonna, and before the Russian Social Revolution, simultaneously said, Simultaneously, Secretary of Labor of the Provincial Moderna Dick Director of Periodical Domain. So in 19, so in 1917, in July, um, he he was appointed to uh to appointing a member of the Victoriate. Uh, 
and a deputy secretary of the Italian Socialist Party or the PSI, so supporting Consul Azadi and and Galato Masseretti. But they, but they both were arrested in 1918. Guess kind of the government was right wing back then. Um, during the last year of war, Mountain Bakshi was arrested for defeatism. And on October 21st, 1919, was really was released on the 20th of November after the war. So it was because, generally, though, it's because on simplified terms of. He was for anti-war activities, unlike Benito Mussolini, so yeah. So in 1919, he was drafted with Sadetti and Guino Salavardi, the program of Marxist Fraction, and won the... Okay, so five, five, so this is... Uh, so this is uh, three. No, that's four plus five plus one. Ten. So the, the tenth Congress, National Congress of the Socialist Party in of Bologna, in Bologna from fifth of fifth to eight October nineteen nineteen, and was elected Secretary of Party. And also, he had one hundred thousand votes in nineteen twenty. The draft constitution, Soviet Italy consensus, and he also in summer went to Italy and also tried to represent Bolsheviks in Copenhagen. In nineteen in twenty first of nineteen twenties nineteen twenty one he helped to board the Antonio Grimace create the Italian Communist Party, which lasted between nineteen twenty one again stopped uh, before uh, uh, during Benito's time but again reopened until nineteen ninety one. Later he became a member of of the Central Committee before these things, and he was part of the director of the com uh, the second communista in the so the tenth Congress of the Socialist Party. He was like the separate like the secretary in the like, spring of nineteen twenty one. But the anti district town trustee, however, his own current town party was rather isolated from the Orvis group of Kermuski and the uh, Abishentatorianist of Bordengo, and it was located in the right wing of the, with the, of the Italian Communist Party and financial reports made on Maximus along with posing sectarian ideology he wanted by Bordigia. So he was soon ousted by the Communist Party by governing centers. Um, in 1923, in November, essentially, by so, so, so controversy. Um, there was some controversy in the upper Soviet laws in November 1923. Um, Decided to expel him and the international parliamentary group and he had been accused of referring possible union with Bolshevik with party and the fascist revolution speech and this is where I would probably stop. Um Yeah, I would not consider him an as but I would just consider him like a communist figure. Like I don't know. Like, I don't think he is like a Italian figure, so of natural Bolshevism. So yeah. Next thing I can keep that thought. I know that sounds weird, but okay. But anyway. So he is sickly an ideology and national Bolshevism, and he's the father of fascism. And this is kind of where stop because there's no need of discussing, because I'm going to say already this is not national Bolshevism. What I feel like is that the website music is referring to the meme version, but not referring to the actual party. So, like, like sure, it's civic nationalism, but like, is it like like the only one so far? I feel like it was already like someone. It was Vanessa Geo taught so. Ne any next one, liminalism. So let me see. He's worth discussing. Actress, no, please, no. So yeah, he essentially is an asshole. He was captured by the, he was reportedly so gave him a choice either for captured by his own place, gave him a choice, so 
Um, essentially, this is just like regular national Bolshevism against the. And yeah, I feel like this should I should not mention any other these other names. Uh, because these are just fascism, not national Bolshevism in definition. So next. So it's probably by collectivism. This note this one is a fictional ideology. However, this ideology is unitary e social and collective intelligence. Because so, get it, high mind collectivism. So and preserving culture by wealth of liberty from oh forgetting that. And the aside from the f tugs and pulls of society to total harm assimilation. Basically, it's a cult by one leader by name of realization of like Gia Hypertosis, I guess. But anyway, there is different subtypes, but I will mention them. So first of all, it's supremacy. So it's essentially a cryptocracy, and it's generally a totalitarian version of this. So like criminals, there's like the criminals, and they're controlling high mind, controlling everything else, and essentially the what the rest are. High man individualism, though, like, it's an individual has their own identity, emotions, matter, they can get pleasure. However, the rest are just generally different people who are under different systems, like high gland, gland high mind, high man capitalism, volunteerism, generally under the main, you know, essentials. So that was high mind collectivism. Passadism. Passadism is often an economic left idea, and yes, it is absolutely real. So it was from the idea of J. J. Passadis. He was a uh, he was from a leftist family, and uh, and he holds a very unorthodox views. What he is essentially, he like he was an Italian immigrant from Ar in Argentina. He believed that in order for communism to be for like be properly essential, first we would have to nuke the world and nuke it to crap and we would somehow that would be the great way we will find our way to the great ideas. Well you can see a ton of problems but there you go, that's Posadism, but let's see what else this would yeah, pretty much I just described everything. Okay, so So that's Posadism generally what? Wait, you know, or is that no? And we did not explain Bazarism. Next, Stalinism. Oh, Joseph. Let me see if I got. Yeah. So, Stalin. So, this is, of course, the idea of Joseph Stalin, for example, believes in rapid idea. Industrialization is for. It's said to throw the comedy of socialist production. Um. Reason of socialism in one country, um, they're very tanky. I could have kind of guessed that. They're totalitarian. Believes in collectivism in our culture. A core personality established under his rule. Started expresses personal disdain and resisted cult multiple times. So Joseph Edwards was basically ethnic Georgian Bolshevik. He was, he got, he is, so his wife died because he got too busy in politics. Um, he had a policy, and when he gave him power in 1929, he had a policy of the Great Purge. If you know, you could notice if you play Hearts of Iron 4. Um, this is basically the idea that he didn't trust anyone and he should, he was going to kill anyone, so, that he didn't trust. So he had a new economic policy, he's called the USSR, which resulted in many famines across Ukraine. The Ukraine as or the Ukraine has said basically the whole the more happened and about like any Kazakh famine happened with and both of these will equal to like about in worst case about like five seven million people died from the Kazakh both famines um he was he saw his from force from Lyshenko's pseudo science theory, so called anti parasol law, forced labor, um, 
from like laziness and gulags, he was known in the 1930s. Since he's at a pre-1928 level in the early 30s, he was continuing economic boom for of the Latin era, which since the one country was frankly cut off from the USSR's country from the outside world, stalling out to see deal with the Nazis to, to on how they were going to divide up Eastern Europe into itself, not realizing that Nazi Germany would have backstabbed him. So he did believe, but because they were already, but anyway, but yeah, you couldn't see why that happened. Yeah, I like tried against him. So after the war, where the Soviets and the rest of the Allied nations, such as UK, UK, USA, and France, occupied Germany now, and they were and Charles Truman and Winston Churchill were fairly suspicious about Stalin as he wanted to control Western Europe, but, and that's pretty much true, and, yeah, and he was Khrushchev, and he was there. So the general doctrine of him is, like, he's a, is, this is a far-left guy. His eye, a style, also style of you is all we all know. He's a far-left. He's culturally variable, but mostly left-leaning. Stalinism is the development of Leninism, but... Yeah, but like he also was uh, from less the Bolsheviks, he like Alka shouldn't have been banned. So yeah. So, yeah, again, I also another thing I'm gonna mention again is the socialism in one country policy. Maybe socialism should have spread out until 1939. Um, we have Grand Nation class under a struggle of socialism, a corruption, stateless, moneyless classes, etc. Um. He believes in a strong state, and this task being the opposite of that Marx believed, despite trying to claim Marxism. And industrial societization, so the society wouldn't get crushed by foreign powers, and that's where civil industrialization is needed for civilization. So, yeah. However, there is new Stalinist groups today, um, they're generally still to Stalin, but, and, and they're also anti-infrimentionists. However, though, they have a bit of those from Hoaxism, which I'll go more detail the Hoaxism part of the video. So, yeah. So, so actually, compared to just the stereotypical stuff, um, yeah. Uh, Next, left wing populism. So this is culturally, economically left wing. It has popular frustrations with the working class for the working class because their lack of health care, poverty, and the poverty and the employment that the like the working class has to face for for the, to gain some political gain in society. I mean, get some forms of socialism, a more specific democratic socialism. Uh, going more in, co in detail on the, about these two in the, in the episode where I talk about is like the libertarian left. But anyway, they're so they were basically saw a rise in 2008, 2007, 2008 when New USA and Europe had a debt crisis or called a recession. These movements such as Occupy Wall Street, which believes the only viable ways to fight up neoliberalism and that. Right wing populism will only make it stronger. Like its predator opposes the EU from the most part, but is usually more open reforming than abolishing it. So yeah, generally we're gonna go. Different so first kind, law for pro progressism. This one is like economically left and culturally left, just like and this one was made by this one's based on Wisconsin government. But he based on Wisconsin Progressive Movement under Governor um, Senator and Representative Robert M. A. La Follette. La Follette led a dynasty in Wisconsin and by his sons Robert Jr. and Philip, who were Senator and Governor respectively. Wisconsin Progressive Movement saw a peak in 1924 and in 19 and had won nearly 17 percent of the national vote in Kansas, Wisconsin. So. From aspects of his thought, he believed in cheap credit for farmers, allowing child labor, promoting union interests, protection of civil liberties, imperialism, and all the general stuff, and generally support for rules about Taft administration. Wait, no. 
Wait, no, a uh, criticize of the Taft administration. Polls vote in 1912 election that socialist nominee Gene Debs. So. No, no, he voted for Gene Debs. So, um, I would consider this one left wing populism because it generally revolves around a populist movement of gaining popularity. So, yeah. Your left wing, your skepticism. This one is basically your skepticism, but left wing populism. This one is generally uh, more based on the idea that we should reform the EU because the EU's been weak in doing anyone's freedom. Next one, dirt bag leftism. This one is a salad we fall down for goes to show that the left wing left wing movements in the United States, identity politics and such, and anti capitalist methods. Messages. This is uh, described as anti fascist, anti center, anti centrist, anti equality, anti liberal. However, I don't consider this left wing nationalism, left no left wing populism, considering that I never use populist members. So, yeah. So, it, it's been throughout the USA, UK, generally, and Spain and France. And that's pretty much where it stayed. I feel like there's no major left wing populist movements in Canada, so there you go. Nextism. Marxism Leninism Mao Maoism. So this is a I also call Gonzi Lotan nationalism or Prashenda Path or National Democracy. It's the movement in Peru, Nepal, the Philippines, and India. So respectively is a synthesis of Marxist Leninism. Um it's a uh, case in the launch in the MLO revolutions in the local areas of semi colonial in the rural areas against poor for toiling masses in the urban working sector. So, this, um, if you don't understand what that means, it just means in Eastern India, in the village of Naxos, that's where the under Naxalites, the or Naxalism comes from, they, their brokers kind of like rose up and made their own like organization. You're compared to Jerry Marxism and Leninism and launched the MLO revolution location deep semi feudal or semi colonial. So, totally mass in the urban working sector, hijacked by Mao's revolutionary principles, straight up Chinese care, and that straight Chinese care is used by Mao to universalize the Mao strategy of revolution. Typically, these parties strive and set up bases to support and exploit impoverished communities. Uh, location they're intended to start people's work. It was not simplified on 1923 and the creation of the eight documents by Jadu Majid Madad. And this ideology has been adopted by revolutionaries such as Abdul Guzman, the president, or otherwise known as Presidente Gonzalo, no, no Gonzalo, um, and put uh, and, uh, and push, uh, push, push. Pushpa Kamal Dahal or Chanda and Imbram Kappa, Kapakagya and Joe Jos Simpson and finally Fakaso Shingenbu and uh, and the leader that which are the leaders of the Communist Party, which are Marxist Lenin's mouse. It's Communist Party of Peru, the Shining Path. The Unity Center of Com Party Baba, Unity Center and Philippines. So it's kinda of rejects the three worlds theory, just it considers it the Chinese Revolution. So there's diff there's tie so there's these are the beliefs I'm gonna be well like the main ideas of which so first one is people's war and anti opportunism. This one generally believes that to establish a communist society, we should organize around for warfare rather than political electoral focus. According to Mo Mao and Lenin, and both Shedong, Mao Zedong and Le Vladimir Lenin's writings, the political elections are often seen as corporate frauds and are generally seen because the MOMD and Lenin Leonism have capitalism is extra or just cap. Sees MOM see because of this the MOM sees the the uh, sees so the 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 Leonism as just uh, capitalism just with extra stuff. And one of his other beliefs is internationalism. Internationalism is 
Well, essentially believing that the nation is not better than the rest of the world. Next is anti-split, believing that essentially they're against, like, I think, um... The against the just anti revision of some secular like separation of state and religion, woman LGBTQ right? Oh, they didn't even know about this one. I thought they hated them, but yeah, environmentalism and yeah. So this one was basically from a village called Naxabadi in West Bengal. A tenant farmer was tied by low war gangs in Lazar land dispute, leading to a little group of locals later killing the landlord. This attack was led by Kadio Senio, this is the history, by the way. And as a local politician there, it was adopted by Mao's above boring China. This was supported by other big tenants, one of the leader Communist Party regents, Jadu Majabdad, who support the spirit and the firm collectivization of a revolution in prison, inducing the creation of a historic aid document. So, yeah, um, essentially just the same story, yeah. Um, yeah. Next, fourth theory. So this is. So let me note something before. Um, first of all, this is from Alexander Dugan. However, Alexander Dugan never got an original piece. And most of these beliefs are from people like Vlad, Vlad Il Il um, Carl Schmitz, and others. So just note that. So this one is reactionary and authoritarian. Is a third positionist ideology has four political tiers. Liberals and communists and fascists have all failed, and due to the postmodernist reality they are having. So and they believe that fourth theory that is the only solution to all of this. Alexander Dugan was a Russian political philosopher. An analyst strategist for his anti-liberal and anti-Western views, Alexander Dugan is close aligned to Vladimir Putin regime and Vaxman. Just note though that Vladimir Putin never, never like cites him, but a uh, philosopher that he had cites Alexander Dugan himself cited in the eighties during the late work Soviet Union anti-communist dissent worked with. The journalist before coming involved in politics with in Italian with his friend Gerder Desmond joined an internationalist group called called Pibot, or otherwise known as Memory, which was later given to Russian fascism. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Gurdjieff Dave program reformed the Communist Party in Russia's army under the leader of Gennady Zhuganov. Any, so anyway. So anyway, I'm doing it in for the for book of the Foundation of Geopolitics. Um, I will link the video. So I, I know what the crowd video I will today. I forgot the links. I'm gonna the way I'm gonna add the links. But anyway, this is I will leave the link to real life world video explaining what this means. Essentially, had caused her to take back control of NATO and valleys and Duga supports against military. It's the uh, pro-Russian military ventures in Chechnya, Georgia, Syria, Ukraine, all don't believe that Putin has, hasn't gone far enough and posed the Russian's economic policies. So the two capitalists and person corp and as he prefers a corporate half economic model. Now beliefs. This one this I believe I again the said is a concept for theory uh, by Hedy of the, the translated by a confronted pros of morality and so on. Anti liberalism could foreign policy is generally imperialist and for theory. So yeah, um that was for theory. Next, Mordorism. So, this is after the left ideology that advocates for Russian monarchies and under Soviet style system. So, basically, combining the other what the, not the February Revolution, I provisional government with the Russian, with the Tsarist Russian monarchy. <coughs> so, history, um, and it's generally, it's generally prone to violence, also, but. but Anyway, it was, it was more about the anti-communist. They argue against the idea of creating a free Russia on non-Russian soil and believe it. Still, believe it's not what they call Soviet-occupied Russia. The only uh, Russia that could be in existence. More dressy believed Soviet gun preserving Russian state and national interests. Um, they adopted label so as patriots, white immigrants, and yeah, basically all this crazy stuff. 
and wow, that was quick. Okay. Next was in Paul Paul. So we all know how bad Paul Paul was. Like he was like a murderous dictator. So he is uh, his uh, was anti-industrial, economically far left, and to yeah, an ultra nationalist, anti intellectualism, highly genocidal ideology, top left of the compass, sport by Maoism. Generally, he was supported by Maoists during the Cambodian Civil War. He strongly hates men and kill many intellectuals, people with glasses, landlord, rich people, urb, urban and not urbanites, poor people that go to Buddha, Buddha, Buddhist, Vietnamese people, journalists, Muslim, Christians, and Chinese people also hate currency and are blowing up central banks. So he was, so Pol Pot was born in Sal, Salosar in French occupied Indochina. He was, um, he, otherwise known as the front, or the area of French Indochina called the Protectorate of Cambodia in the 1920s to a rich, prosperous family and connections to the Cambodian monarchy. Salosar was, uh, was educated with some Cambodia's most elite school and gained access for education to study in Paris from 1940 to 53, uh, essentially after World War II, um, while in Paris, Salaf Sar became interested in children and joined Marxist Leninist organization. Siddiqui Marxist, where he would become influenced by the works of Stalinist and Peter Gorfinkin. Salaf Sar would return to Cambodia in 1953 with the high mix of the first. Indochina War and the, the King V makes it um, into a, a, a green, green Mies and Cambodian guerrilla subgroup of the North Vietnamese base. We men to free Indochina from French colonizers. In 1953, King Nordam Senik declared Cambodia's independence from France and roughly, roughly almost all green men but left the country for North Vietnam. However, Sosar made in Cambodia with his fellow comrade, Sosar's party. In 1955, Nordum Sherfoner advocated strong through voter fraud, which became the chief st of state and turned Cambodia to a de facto one party state, began crackdown on Pratian member. In 1962, in the midst of the Vietnam War, Salof Sar became foremost. Was his revolutionary movement with the purpose of offering Nordum's Nordum's regime and forming contact with the V Kong, a militia group of the V Min. Um. Uh. So Sar and his comrades sought to develop their own ideology, and in 1960, Sar men killed his mentor, Tusama, for being too moderate. Um. And yeah. Essentially, got support from Mao Zedong. And so, Xiao, and I and Dang Champing. Cambodia Civil War. So, Cambodia Civil War, but generally, Kabul roots take on all of Ed Bisky. Take over the government. So we all know the rest, how he genocide intellectuals and so on and so forth. And the fall of the Khmer Rouge would happen slowly through the revolution. And Hugh, Paul Paul would have been killed, or Sar or Sad would have been killed by a by a breakup group of the of the Khmer Rouge, and in 1997, Juche. So this one is specifically for like Korea. So uh, this is uh totalitarian left wing to far left ideology that happening the authority left culture and achieve social fruit straight and sustainability. Stream generally is uh, it was from like generally ideas are from Kimo's 1955 speech and the speech of his that further Kimo saw being Further by his three main principles: be economic self subsistence, self relies. First, I was found by Cable Sung. Various speeches and writing. Due to its middle rule ideology of North Democratic peoples 
of Republic of North Korea, or the DRPK, otherwise known as North Korea. And since its occupation, the national government is really isolation, nationalistic, and militaristic tendency. So I did not tend for due to only influence credibly the IOC and potential like international influence started in nineteen seventy six has altered many senators and offside of their own country. So yeah, generally we all know the rest. So there's main principles. Not to main principles. So gun. So so gun is a military do militarized doctrine with the view of most important part of shit in the came out after came out Song's death in nineteen ninety four. It's based on a free Made by free based on made by based on four principles made by Kim Il Sung and the entire population to fortify state, train every soldier to become a continent, and monitor at the entire army sector and put military put the military as top as the allocation is considered as a government policy. Next principle is the great leader theory. That like my uh, my, my I like Bowers and Marxism due to Rex historical materialism as there is as believe in production for striving history. Instead believes driving force should be our 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 people, their ideas and the believes in great leaders should rule all this. And yeah, basically, uh and yeah, that was just Judaism for you. Next Oh god <laughs> Let's just hope I don't get demonetized for this one. Fascism! So, why you might be confused why I'm mentioning fascism like this? Well, here's two reasons. Number one, um, I gotta make sure, uh, I think, dang, is that, oh yeah, God, I guess, wait, where's fascism? So it's a totalitarian fascist actor, totalitarian term, positionist ideology, it's culturally far right, as ultra nationalist. It's the uh, teachings were from Gavini Gentinelli and Benito Mussolini, generally outlined by the doctrine of fascism. Fascism generally falls into the category of unity. Ideologies, according to most scholars such as Ronick Stuckelberg, fascism, altered right ideology. In the traditional aspect of fascism, practice hierarchy, dictatorship, spread, suppressing algorithm, and traditional method. I disagree with Roderick Stuckelberg, okay, awesome. But, so anyway, um, to, Italian fascism, prioritizes, why can't I pronounce, prioritizes, uh, a capitalist economy or national singles are protest against Marxist and le liberal ideas and as they are they claim they are degenerate political doctrines and they sell and the defense of national interests the unification of one nation of st of a nation with one state aka Italian nationalism, imperialism, expansionism basically trying to reform ancient Rome um, in civil society Fascism comes from the word, it comes from the instant symbol on the faith fascist. It is bound by one rods, me including the acts of the blade emerging. This is a Knorvi symbol and the fascist blade pervading a basically collectivism. Conceptions. Italian fascism. This, so this is different types. It's generally a f original, the original fascist or do with the practice, the original practice of giving all Gentile and Benito Mussolini, as we see practiced by Mussolini's National Fascist Party or the PNF, which was a uh, which ruled the Kingdom of Italy until 1922 to uh, until, until 1992 to 1943, and the Republican Fascist Party that lowered the Italian Social Republic from 1943 to 1945, as all seen within the post-war Italian Social Movement. Sanse Poyokrismo. So, so no se poco Christmo refers to the movement came after fascism, uh, before fascism led by Benito Mussolini. The movement originated from March 23rd, 1919, and Porpisi Paisa 
Kaiser San Perico in Milan. Uh, you know, Jacob was a semi socialist generally, and 10% of progressive, and with a very radical program. This was, it was a nationalist, anti imperialist, declares movement since appears and promotes acceptance of the working class. Fishy is not worthy of anti democratic indeed, Italian social public. Next type, neo fascism. So neo fascism has some variants. So as to two variants, um, actually. So yeah. So the new fascism originates from aftermath of World War Two and the defeat of the Axis power, which included Germany, Italy, and Japan, and Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. So yeah. Anyway, it's to is totalitarianism still holds, but still holds the concept of a Victorian democracy. Neo fascism is usually far right to far right and somewhat corporate economically. Neo fascism carries many of the ideals of national socialism, and the neo fascist movement and the social movement was dissolved in 1995 um, with with Francoism because now Franco. Did, Franco was spoiling the movement, but now, when after he died in 1975, in the, in the 80s and 90s, it slowly started to collapse the new fascist movement in Italy. It's a generally very neo Nazi, national socialist, and a version of neo fascism. Okay, so. Anyway, the other kind of neo fascism we can find is Stefano De Che. Stefano De Che was a neo fascist terrorist. And this is why I was hoping not to get the top monetized. He's founder of the Avogadro uh, National and founder of the Ordine Novo and the founder of Legate National Poland. The Che being involved in various political actions during the during the fifties and sixties, protesting against Eisenhower's situation in Leaf and fight or fight against the Italian cop party by infiltrating breaking up left wing demonstrations. Daily Chan was known for various anti communist dictators. Affiliation, basically. I mean, he, the Italian terrorist took part in the, part in the former French army officer, Yves Gardel Chartres, or the, uh, known as the Ginter Press, his nickname, that of Yves Gardel Chartres, and anti communist mercenary founded an organization in Antonio de Alvarez Ares in Portugal. In 1965, um, it was, was a former Italian naval officer who tapped a coup in 1970 uh, against the against the Italian government after the coup failed. He escaped to Franco Spain with the future members of the GALP paramilitary organization. The Italian was actively Operation Condor, backed up by back, you. On the behalf of U.S. backed military dictatorships in Latin America, including Pinochet, and, and was basically agreeing with Augusto Pinochet's political police. In the DINA, the Argentine anti communist alliance Triple A and the Hugo Bazar's dictatorship in Bolivia took part in the cocaine coup of 98, which brought the Bolivian dictator Zed Meza into power. In 1997, the Commission on Terrorism, headed by Governor Parmento, gave a speak about black fascist international and his hope of conditions international revolution and many have taken by pan nationalists. A uh, pan nationalist new order, you know, European order or the NOE organization. Next kind of is Nikolaevovshim or Russian fascism. Nikolaevovshim and Ru or Russian fascism is generally the political thoughts of Nikolai Ivanovich. Ivanovich. He was born in the Kiev government and the Russia in Russia on a um, a Russia. Russian Empire on April 29, 1886. He, as a scientist, he blocked to being a, 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 with being a long run warrior until, but in 1910, graduated from St. Vladimir's University in Kiev, where he was left to be a parent of a professor. In, 1990, in 1994, 1914, and I, Nikola Fast, have passed his master test in Tao, President by then during World War Rising before nineteen eighteen he was per, was a Perdonist of 
St. Joseph's University for 1940, along with the, being a professor at Alms Prisons Institute and the United Department of History Ministry to education between 1917 and 18. And during the Rust Civil War, which lasted between 1917 and 1923, he was a professor at the Insular State from 1920 to 1925, and Croy Professor State Far East State University for the same time, or from 1920 to 1921 to 1922, and acting Story Professor Law Factory at the Harbin Normal University in Manchuria and in China from 1920. To to 1937. In 1925, he would, along with certain members of the law faculty, Harbin Nobel University, found a Russian fascist organization, or the RFO, by 1927. When the thesis of Russian fascism was published, while some smuggled propaganda was brought by attention of China, who banned the organization works, and with the commission of the and. Uh, works and the crowd defended that such as in Simmons regime France or the Akamo War with the Master Green General History Commission in the Russian Activist Group in Prague. Czechoslovakia after Gorbachev was the first fascist portal for pointed Akrovich Stoil Pin in which he stated Stoil Pin was more brilliant than Vinny to Mussolini and Russian fascist Established in the Storybook Academy in Harbin. In, in March of 1929, could be more, more, and I, Nikolov, the ID, the last deputy of the Harbin Nobel University and the editor of the general called the Bulletin of Martian Society until, 9, until February 1st, 1930, which he was engaged in a private practice. That was the first book on the secret for the revolution by Leon de Polkons in the Russia fascist party called Newspaper Our Way 1933. In March of March 26 of 1931, the Russian fascist organization was absorbed to the new fascist fascist party or the RFP, which was the constant on Mr. Rosowski until that while well, in nineteen thirty six Ski moved to Tajin where he was opened a private bank by four employees here and moved to Shanghai teaching that I mean, that he was arrested by the Shanimus in quotations and deported to the Soviet Union after World War Two, but that happened between nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five, which was this were ten years of forced labor until he died in nineteen fifty one. So, uh, we got liberal fascism, generally coined uh, by Jonah Goldberg, who explained fascism shows liberal at the same root, essentially social fascism re beliefs and core rootings of ultranationalism. Ultranationalism, one of fascist tenets, tend to agree on emphasize the importance of devotion and anti-vigilant ideology, which to the vein of exoxide. Turn position is, again, just just sort of traditional sports seeing as commons of liberalism failed. And the solution was a mix of them. Of Marxist and capitalist ideas. Cold, social, cultural stance so it's not real. This is cancer can be shot fully actually or revolutionary, but the senses of traditionalism, futurism, red radical modernism, imperialist. Yeah, we all know this one time, and yeah, essentially it. Neo Bolshevism. This one, uh, this one's fictional. Uh, it's called the Neo Bolsh of Compass of Dorian ideology. Ideology of the. Dora book and little knows about the Marxist while an insult death worship is the corruption of angel spirit and sacrifices as Diobos is a corrupted commons and is serving the interests of the state. Oh, okay, that was quick. Ingsoc, another very famous external ideology from George L's book. So this ideology is generally totalitarian and this double plus. It's so yeah, uh, history from he was a, dem a Democrat socialist, fear status movements, and yeah, blah blah blah, and yeah. Hokshaism. So pronounced Hoksha, Hoja, 
is the far, economically far left, culturally left, very authority, anti religious Marxist ideology based on the ideas of Verhosha. He, former socialist leader of Albania, believes in the self self defense of idealist governments of Joseph Stalin, believing in the revisionist leader of Nikita Khrushchev, Mao Zedong, and his Sino Albanian, started Dixon Shalping and Joseph Bros Tito to be revisionist in social appearance, and also loves Valkyrie and telling this to build him. So, history of um, Essentially, he was known for start at revisionism and the negative opinion more under communist lead that were active after Joseph Stalin's death. And yeah, that's essentially it. Left wing nationalism. So this one is a social or a left wing nationalism is no social party. Plagiarism or socialist nationalism is generally economically left wing and culturally neutral nationalist ideology that advocates for the ownership means of production, kind of anti imperialism, and gutters in solidarity, subdivision. Mostly it was found saw in, in, in the IRA. And so we got various, we got anti colonial nationalism, is generally, and as, so generally this one, the, this variant is. Focus on decolonization and anti imperialism because the colonization creation of the literature made the five by anti colonialism. History, yeah, blah blah blah, and Turks. And yeah, generally, you don't need to know much about this one. Pakaslia. Pakaslia. Here, this one. This one is the foundation of philosophical theory of Indonesia. It's based on the five principles start of creating the, the Indonesian National Revolution. His this ideology was discussed in founding fires in Indonesia, namely Sakurano, Muhammad Yamin, Dr. Sumipo, and the Council of Biden, Pashapa in Indonesia, investigate for the party for independence and the PK, PPKI. And he produced Canaan, Indonesia Preparatory Committee for Independence. This has been revised several times during the revolution and after the revolution. They are the events of Jakarta Charter, which is the first old sale on the religious so and the obligation of the Islamic Sharia, Godhood of the obligation of Sharia, which is the fundamentally Islamic, therefore cannot unfit a diverse country in terms of religion. History. So, Sakurano's rule. Mohanism was economic left philosophy developed by the first president of Indonesia, Sakurano, and from social nationalism to social democracy. I mean, it was also a so it was established as an anti capitalist, anti imperialist, and for opposition to uh, terrorism while also opposition to liberals. The new order and Six was attacked by soldiers and basically was anti. So, generally, uh, Sakura was a army um, officer, a politician who served as our long serving president of Indonesia, the repressive military dictator from, from 1967 until his own resignation in 1998. He grew up, on, uh, uh, up under the Dutch. In Dutch East Indies and the colonial era joined the Royal Netherlands East. East is in this army or the K N I N I L in June nineteen forty and age in nineteen during Japanese occupation era, Sakurato changed his leader serving Japanese organized Indonesian security forces or P A T A and his Japanese surrender president independence leaders Sakura had declared that independence was appointed by the vice president respectively to the new republic under the K Clabbers with Israel with Dutch clabbers and Islamic extremists for us and also Sakurados for the PKI. They basically become a terrorist tax in Western countries against feminists. He was listed in the US in Asian economics and the New Order of Corruption and in conclusion with the rapid expansion of corruption, collusion, nepotism, and so such, and yeah. Next, Boffism. And how long I've been recording. 
Oh Jesus Christ, this video is gonna be. Oh God, this is video is gonna be for more than one, more than one, like more than one hour. Buff is up. All right, though it's Dobby's and Bowser size up. This one is generally culturally variable, anti-Zionist, and is in the a compass. It's closed off towards censored beliefs towards fine Arabs and led by secular government vanguard capitalists as very anti pornography and hates with hobbits and theocracy despises West despises Western imperialism. But that is my video but not explaining every political ideology name so daddy. Creation history uh the orders above start with Zachary Ado, C. Michelle Alaf, and were never members of the same or uh, Alaf, Alaf and Batara, sorry, were never members of the same organization, but were considered founders of Bobism. Azuri for the Bob Party in 1940, and his views reflected views of uh, influence Alaf, and Logan's junior partner Saladi and Batar, and the uh, Arab Adi movement in 1940, later named himself. The Amber Boff movement in 1943, though, was influenced by him, and Lucy did not cooperate with Lucy's movement, and Lucy respected the existence of Air Aya movement, which was titled itself Air Boff, and was was an imperialist plot and prevented his influence over Abe's Craig the same name. While Zuri left the League of Nationalist Action, or LNA, in party in 1939 after his leader, Died and the party had fallen to disarray and found a short lived Arab National Party in 1939. Resolved later later in that year on 1929 1940, Zuri found the Arab Baf. 1940s. A significant conflict concerning point of Baphism was sparred the, after the Kupa dot they ever see the Al and the, the Anglo Iraqi War. Uh, Aflox feeling movement support the Al Guinea's government and against the British organized volunteers to fight. However, Azuri's boy opposed the Al Guinea's government, considering considering the coup to be poorly planned and failure. At this point, Suri has not lost all members and supported the transfer of movement suspecting. In France, it uh, was in 1943, Bob Party did solidify card to United Forces, where marched the Arab Socialist Party, led by Akram al Havadi and the Arab Socialist Party. Iraq. The rise of Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein, at, uh, at the age of 20, joined the revolutionary pan Arab Bob Party in Iraq. Ar 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 I was dropping out of law school in 1958, the year that Saddam joined the Board of Bob Party. Army officers led by General Abd al Qasim Qasim overthrew Faisal Second's government in the 14th July Revolution. The Bob originally represented Qasim's cabinet, and the party turned against him when he refused to join his foreigners refused to join Gamba, Gamba Abdel Nasser's United Arab Republic or the UAAR. And the you know, and the Great Alliance of Iraqi Communist Party, which opposed the national pan Arabism. After this failed assassination of Article Qasim, Saddam Hussein moved to Egypt on February eighth, nineteen sixty three. While he said I was still in Egypt, army officers had ties to the Ba'ath Party led under Ahmed Assad al Bakr through Qasem and marked the Dinamina Revolution. A raid of terror purge of communists and the financial and tactical support of the CIA, Central CIA or the Central Intelligence Agency. The Ba'athist regime came, a came to a temporary end later that year, 963 Coupe. In November 1963, Kupin died by non office faction, the Iraqi government. Saddam Hussein was arrested on October 1964 and served approximately two years in prison for escaping in 1966. In the same year, Ahmed uh, Hassan al Bakr appointed him to the Deputy Second Regional Command. In, in September 1966, Saddam approved extraordinary challenge of the Syrian domination of the Ba'ath Party, resulting in the formalized Separate factions. In 1968, Saddam Hussein played a coup about a house out of Bakr in 17 July revolution that saw Ba'athists regain control of Iraq. 
Saddam proceeded to carry out purge of Nazareth, Commodus, and others he didn't die to Baathist ideals. Baathist regime was inherited on the tensions of social, ethnic, religious, and fault lines. Sunni versus Shiite, Arab versus Kurd, tribal chief versus urban merchant, nomad versus peasant. A desire for stability led to Dobbs to mass repression and dissent above the standards of extensive welfare programs such as to large scale infrastructure projects. In 1972, Sadashi saw the oversaw of international oil interests, which led to the rocket at the time dominated the country's oil sector. A year later, oil prices were dramatically as a result of the 1973. Energy crisis. The skyrocketing revenues enabled Saddam Hussein to gain further support through the economic improvement. While Saddam Hussein was stalked by Antichrist himself, he retained dependent on the Soviet Union. This was greatly infuriated the U.S., which feared they lost the Middle East and the finance and courage from led by Mustafa Barzani with the help of Pahlavi and the Pahlavi of Iran in the second Iraqi Kurdish war over to over to over Saddam Hussein. Saddam's regime. The Kurds were defeated in 1975 the Arzers, uh, government and forcible re re relocation by thousands, uh, thousands of Kurdish civilians. The start of 1976, the business of the Iraqi armed forces that said became the uh, only six day accession to Brazil had large school purge in the city. Around Rock War, I mean, you don't even know the Syria. Basically, he was a state man who was military officer from 1971 to 96, and basically, like, Coup d'etat, which brought Syria national bread. And yeah. So, yeah. Next, national communism. The National Communism had communism established at the core. So let me explain this in my own verse. I'm using Paul Cobb with him. Uh, basically, um, this is actually ideology using communism for using history to justify communism. A great example of this would be Romania, which used nationalism to justify and history to justify its position. Maoism. Wow. Look how much darn pages I have. I know you can't see, but I have to explain still so much. Mao Zedong was associated with the Communist Party of China, identified as economic left, totalitarian, culturally far left, but, uh, but usually homophobic, and pointed out that Mao's proper chairman Gonzalo, the Peruvian Communist Party, during the chairman Mao, and his thoughts with no Mao taught. History, my very much and it was, it was, it was in the United Soviet back satellite, unrecognized so China, China Soviet Republic as a major rebellion against the authority nationalist government of the right KMT. Okay. During the Chinese Civil War, Mao split into so called 1920 with Bolsheviks who loyal to doctrine rapid industrialization. China bound up this idea of peasant working unity as they guards of the revolution case arguing because a strong alliance for succeed. During Chinese invasion, China bound up again for a united front with the nationalist faction. After eight years fighting together, the united front proved work towards only Japanese aggression, the noble. The, the the battle of that the Commons fought in the war with a hundred regiment offensive. Immediately at the end of the Science Happy's War, yeah, essentially anti revisionist, led to famines and trying to great leap forward. I'm kind of rushed so um yeah Strasser's anti totalitarianism ideology it's generally not, not as far left as Nazvo but uh, but he sports 
but uh, founders of Strong Rizzo does support like a strong worker rights as a as an anti capitalist believing dominated by Ferrier, but also over less degree national social which uh, forces these to government. Strasser is a very big expensive genocidal as national social favoring nationalist world unite and the extreme expenses of Nazis and the creation of the United States of Europe. Technocracy It's economically, culturally, variable, anti-democratic ideology which supports the government and decision makers who are selected on the basis of their expertise and are given their responsibility. Economic planning, though, is not always the case. Generally, this movement began in the United States in the Great Depression. The economic movement was radical reforms in the government and experts. 60-hour work week and the movement gained explore America's struggling during the Great Depression. Eventually lost the four as after the side reforms the economic system as the fringe of support in the United States. So that was like the democracy in other countries could be in Italy as the technical prime minister could crash his former prime minister. Foundations essentially was Inc. and yeah, technocracy. Seek theocracy. Um, Seek theocracy is a culturally center authorian center ideology. Seek theocracy is the supportive of the guy style movement, a movement to create sovereign states. Is uh, India. She is not an anti LGBTQ plus either, as she gives them as no sexist scriptures of about sexuality. As Sikh theocracy isn't considering to the individuals, but rather gathering Sikh Sikhs and put under one religion voluntarily. Sikhs believe in good and bad karma, and the reconciliation over essentially the true purpose of life. So, okay, but if you do not, you are re reincarnated back human. If you do bad deeds, you will be not uh, something that's not human. E example, elephant, jaguar, etc. Sikhs often are like adopted lacto vegetarian diet for their lifestyle. Sikh is a monotistic religion. Sikhs themselves worship God Godwaras, worship God Vaigadu. I'm Sikh, by the way. Oh. Uh, up is good. So, the ideology of Gabriel uh, of, of Zimbabwe. So, um, I'm seeing how far I am. Like, so, um,. Uh, so is this is a philosophy of Robert Gabriel Mugabe Zimbabwe. It is authoritarian black nationalism because aspects of liberal socialism and it swings culture left and socially right. And by promoting multiculturalism until the white nationalist militia sponsored by South Africa pushed them further to the culture left and consider himself a black supremacist. History. Mubal Mugabe nationalist colonialism during the 60s, 70s, 80s, and the Shawshank Mugabe is the populist movement, simplest, the empty vagueness. Sarah's Rhodesia started to collapse due to the black majority against rising up against the white rule and tired of racism against them. There were two rebel organizations, Zimbabwe Africa's People Union and Marcus Landis Front, led, organized by Mar Michael Nakembo. Kobo and the other was the Zimbabwe National Union, organized by Mugabe, proposed a form of civic nationalism, calling itself. In 1979, the Eternals Agreement was signed by the Rhodesian State of Force. Better future were the black people. After that, Ian Smith resigned. And the British proposal, like Cash House Green, would end Rhodesia's existence, replaced with Zimbabwe. And in 1987, Robert Green has the power. In Zimbabwe, and now in his 90s, has shown him we should retire, and he, he died in 2017. Those was has no left power, and essentially, yeah, yeah, no, nothing else, really, about that. Marxism-Leninism.
Black Snyder's a voluntary known as paid Marxism, state socialism, or just communism is an authoritarian far left ideology. Culturally left and internationally supposes it based on Joseph Stalin's ideas, symphonism, of orthodox Marxism, and Leninism. Many Marxist Leninists, such as, such as Fidel Castro and Nikita Cruz, opposed suicide. It was a historical free social revolution brought by the vanguard, which will lead through, yeah, essentially. History, just Joseph Stalin. Do not have to really go through this one. This one is just like general cap capitalist communism. Capital is also known as Capcom. Is a multiple cop is an ideology represents the unity, the far sides of the economic left and the far sides economic right. It wants to say capitalism will take advantage of the communist states and the more powerful. System as the as the between the, like distributors of the left rule to Bardianism. However, like these islands, it does not combine or more centrist and mix sensible parts of capitalism and combine combine most extreme parts. There's various such as market communism. Several communist countries did not for the economy to not to crash, and enough of some minor economic forms allow small market, in some cases China and Vietnam and the NDP, allow foreign investment but still privately owned actually according to themselves, many times state capitalism. And of or in Joseph's details, Yugoslavia as the market of black indigenous and tourship and the current government involved with China Vietnam, especially the Ivan K contemporary Cuba after some Reforms by Raul Castro after the protests, and Libya by Moor Gaffney, among many others. Crony socialism. Crony socialism is the utilization of the least socialist given privileges to cronies. It usually manifests itself as socialist system in decay. For example, the Brezhnev era, the USSR gave member privileges to compare upper class in a modern capitalist system, such as luxury car and fancy housing. Okay, that's it. And next is Chavezable. Chavezable. The Chavezable is a far left economic idea based on the preventive form, ideas of former president, president, president Hugo Chavez, combined ideas of demographic socialism, social patriotism, Trotskyism, left wing populism, to socialism of the 21st century, and Bolivarism. History. The ideology of Chavism is based on old president, ex-military Hugo Chavez, along with the United Party of Venezuela, Revolutionary Bolivar Movement 250, the great patriotic influence other movements in, left, in Latin America. He came into interest in socialism as becoming interested with Garvey and Randy Marx, Lenin Mao, and he said, Levna. A People's Liberation Army Venezuela, which led to the Bolivar Revolution 200, which led to develop this interest in the liberation theology, attempted to coup in 1992, but failed as after being released by Rafael Kadar and winning the 1998 elections. As the president of Venezuela, I changed the Republic of Venezuela to the Republic of Bolivar de Venezuela, and nationalized many nationalized Venezuelan companies and a gradient form, adopted many Measures to move away from neoliberalism, even though, even though some praises missions for Bolivar missions. The singularity increasing rights of Venezuela, women, rights of women, indigenous people, was criticized for its tourism, increased racial scarcity, poverty, and violence. Happy helped the far AC and anti Semitism also in Latin America, including Emma Chavez, Marez, Darville, El Fidel Castro, La Venezuela, Del Orica, Raul, De Edur Marisov. Essentially, the basic ideas get the idea from French Revolution, while liberty, a cautious idea of basically separation from state religion, was very authoritarian but wanted to transition to democracy. Arab Socialism. Arab socialism is an anti-Arab uh, nationalist, is a authority left Arab nationalist, anti-imperialist, anti-Zionist socialist ideology. He, it, it, he supports leaders such as Saddam Hussein, Bashar al-Assad, Gamal al-Nasser, 
and believes in Arab beauty, unlike many other societies, Arab society rejects internationalism and communism, and believes in the wealth of redistribution and nationalism and key industry, but does not want to abolish pro entirely pro pro private property. And that's it! Socialism is a market socialist ideology to the, the, the Y axis and the market corrupted. You can find the national density both works with NATO and the US and neither was happy with the fact that Yugoslavia refused to live the appearance spot. Is violently considered the most successful form of market socialism. History Joseph Tree was a is a creation communist revolution, rose to power in the forties, relentlessly against Nazi imperialists and their capitalists, such as the Utashis, who genocide the Yugoslavian people led the resistance from the US the Soviet United Kingdom under Churchill and FDR's America. And also convinced like, aid against Yugoslav parliaments and the you know Serbian ethno nationalist tendencies and pragmatism. Entirely stylish because they're purges, anti nationalism and all this stuff I don't have time to read about. Monarcho socialism. Monarcho socialism saw Bond socks by the idea of Bond socialists can work in it with like essentially. And it's essentially bars of Mordorism, and I'm not going to describe it generally. It's just the same as Mordorism, though no, just a lot less. At Dorian. Of general authoritarianism. So this is between the left and right. So um, there was a former government characterized by using central power demands and the limited civil freedoms. Two different typologies developed by scientists to classify towards state regimes in the absence of democratic election. One party says, well, censorship minimal restrictions and sometimes authority can reside in democratic countries with free and fair elections. And there's a clackdown liberties instead of emphasis on authority. History of Dorian's transition of tribes to cities, and there was monarchs, gained roles, and yeah, I think you know the rest. Every Dorian society that ever existed. Oh yeah, I could have got a page on collectivism, but collectivism is just such the idea that the group is more for than the individual. Leninism. Um, Leninism, or as otherwise known as Dorian Leninism, or Bolshevism, is of Dorian left-wing ideology. To far left, and is a uh, socialist communist side based on the beliefs of the communist revolution, first leader of the Soviet Union, Vladimir Lenin, and believes in the establishment of dictatorship, proletariat, right, the revolutionary vanguard party, and was boss of far, 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 far private popular, private proper property, and in favor of socialist public and real property. Generally, we know the rest, basically the Social Democrat Party of the Russia broke, was split in two between Mensheviks and the Bolsheviks and the Russian Revolution, basically, which put this Leninist and Lenin would have died from a stroke. Conservative Socialism is, ec is economically left, culturally right wing, and usually patriotic nationalist ideology leader. The left half of the compass, where sports is socialist, common means of production, and sports for conservatism and traditional values. Please, in the best way, the values as the brief generosity and social exists. Bourgeoisie socialism, conservative Karl Marx, and by certain by society. By people and a free market sort of right wing libertarian movements and such and yeah. Or left such as that and yeah. Next I swear we're almost done with this video because um yeah it's getting how long I've been recording for Yeah. Black nationalism is idea basically the black nationalist idea, black separatism and yeah. History you should just know about the Haiti Revolution and Pan African movements. Castroism. Castroism is a socialist center left ideology happening the top left of the compass holding the actions of Fidel Castro and his ancestors. History of blah, blah, blah. Dig is a basically Dig Xiaoping talk, basically how to form China by using a little bit of capitalism here and there. I'm seeing, yeah, there's pretty much, you would know, know most of the history logism, yeah, he was an interesting social box and believes in that use of corruption and intonation undermines poets' value achieve reform. 
So, yeah, 1904, and basically, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Look, if you understand Trotsky is why I'm speeding up, please, because it's permanent revolution and believes, unlike Stalin, that there should be outside, should spread outside. And it's socialists, they need to run, run, democrat, democrat, run democratically. Next, Guavarism is a revolution leftist culture left that promotes the exporting of the socialist revolution. Blah, 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 worldism. And yeah, that's actually quick. Is the constant scheme to form a based society, economic land greenism, favors land rights, essentially also ambiguous and tends to be right wing in the rural lifestyle depending on the what the rural population beliefs are. There is no large scale political movement or greenism, but gradual urbanizations of life. History, Nordic greenism, or the specific position in parties with are non socialist typically essentialism, at times your skepticism, and a free market environmentalism. Whew! After this one, we only got like five, like one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. Ho Chi Minh taught. Ho Chi Minh ties off the Orient left ideology, which applies to the characteristics of Marxism Leninism to Vietnam. Although after him, mm, Ho Chi Minh top is not exclusively based on Ho Chi Minh's idea, as it's based on the ideas of the Communist Party of Vietnam, which includes the ideas supposed by the CPV, even if the reform pawn on Ho Chi Minh's own ideas center around values national liberation, class liberation, and independence. So, Essentially, by O. T. Minh, as he served the Prime Minister of North Vietnam from 1945-1955, and President from 1945 until his death in 1969, and he was Hong Kong was in, and he essentially led the Vietnam War against the South Vietnamese, and yeah, essentially, because I'm not going over one, two, three, four, five, yeah, religious socialism. I that seeks a socialist system. Wow. Well, religious social system. Oh, wow. Okay. Republicanism. A uh, non quadrant ideology that leads normally non history proposition to Marxism, mostly in context as Marxist systems such as Jamaica, historical figures, and country exceptions to this, of course, are Cambodia and Napoleon. <sighs> Gaddafiism. Gaddafi, communalism, distributism. I explained that to the last one, but Gaddafiism is third transitory of Dorian economically left by Muammar Gaddafi led a military coup in the Libyan monarchy. Kennedy in fact Libya of 1969 to 2011. Gaddafi's early life is nomadic and yeah, just could join rule and did a bunch of bad stuff like. Raping women in his Amazonian warriors. Communalism, the compete of civilization of private, all property, or public that's outside. The last one Distributism. The Catholic social teachings of Leo the Sixth, the Pillars the Sixth, and beginnings of publication and century. And finally, I'm going to explain labor. So, the ideology of the Labour Party in the UK and the New Democratic Party in Alberta. Um, this, this is just essentially just general social democracy, and social democracy is just generally democratic socialism. I'm not going much in depth because I'm going to go based on that in the, le in the libertarian left section. And thank you for watching. As I spent almost 1 hour and 27 minutes describing the history and the, uh, the type of ideo each ideology of Dorian left, I know I'll be making videos of, of Dorian right. Bye.